In the days gone by, yippee yay, yippee yo, end of day, home we go. For a cowboy has to sing, and a cowboy has to yell, for his heart will break inside of him at the gate of the home corral. There's a tired pony glad when it's over, with a song in my heart, so am I. We always will until the day we die. Yippee yay, yippee yo. End of day, home we go. For a cowboy has to say, and a cowboy has to yell. For his heart will break inside of him at the gate of the home corral. Yippee yay, yippee yo. End of day. Oh, we go. We think dude ranching is probably one of the best family vacations you possibly have, simply because uh, there's something for everyone. We've had many multi generational kind of. Uh, uh, families come to visit us and grandfather and grandmother can have a great time as long with the children and along with the grandchildren. Obviously our, our primary thing is uh, horseback riding but what we think uh, dude ranching is is kind of a throwback uh, going back a little bit to the old western tradition and we put a lot of emphasis on uh, the western tradition. So obviously horseback riding is a big part of that, but we also uh, you know, do some amenities such as a heated pool and hot tub. And uh, for mothers, it's a tremendous deal because you uh, have three meals fixed for you and you don't have to clean up. Then also uh, have counselors for the three to five year olds and they do their own activities. The six to 11 year olds do their own activities, which is horseback riding. The teens have their own activities. From June through August, it's a, it's a one-week program. And maybe the first week in June, we do some shorter stays, but most people maybe come for two, three days, and they would say, oh, we should have planned it that we were here a whole week, because you get the whole essence of the thing. Uh, in September, we do adults only. And with the adults only, we allow a, a minimum of three-night stay. So they can stay from three to, uh, well, two weeks if they want to. But uh, usually, it's a three-day, three-night minimum up to a, a six day program or seven day program. I think, I think you choose a, a dude ranch uh, based on a couple different things. Our terrain is wonderful because we don't have to do nose to tail riding. I think that the, we have, the fact that we have fly fishing right on the ranch is you don't have to drive. You can literally be on your horse and five minutes later have your feet in the stream. So that's a very nice feature. And then I think people choose because of, uh, of, of our children's programs. We have wonderful counselors and uh, I mean the kids make some great friends and uh, are kept busy. I think the best compliment is when the kid says, you know, I didn't even miss the television set this week. We, we have an awful lot of return people and a lot of people that come because of recommendation of their neighbor or their brother or whatever. And that's of course the highest form of recognition from your guests. We send you a packet of information before you come, so it gives you an idea of what kind of clothing to, uh, to buy or to uh, take along. Uh, obviously in the mountains it's good to uh, do anything with layers because it can be cool in the morning, but by the afternoon uh, 
it can be 80 degrees. Our humidity, of course, is very low here. And we're also at 9,000 feet. So you have to also think about if you have a little thing with altitude, see somebody about that, your doctor or whatever, because they can, you can take a pill for it. And of course, generally speaking, just drinking a lot of water will take care of it. And then also we do some things with cattle. Uh, we, uh, one of the most popular activities here on the ranch is uh, doing team penning. And uh, basically that's sorting cattle on horseback and they get into teams, it becomes very competitive and it's just, uh, people just love to do it. Then we also, you know, have things like trap shooting and that sort of thing. And all of that is on our website and also in our brochure. Give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Don't fancy it. Let me ride through the wide open spaces that I love. Don't fence me in. I want to be by myself in the evening breeze. Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees. Send me off forever, but I ask you please. Don't fence me in, just turn me loose Let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder Till I see the mountains rise I wanna ride to the ridge where the west commences Gaze at the moon until I lose my senses can't look at hobbles and they can't stand fences Don't fence me in One of my most enjoyable things to watch is people who come in on Sunday, they don't know each other from a bale of hay, I always say, and then by the time the next Saturday rolls around, these strangers are now planning their next vacation together. I think that is just a wonderful thing. I don't think you get that going to Disneyland, you don't get that going on a cruise. When you ride together, eat together, play together, it is uh, just a wonderful team building kind of experience. Don't fence me in, oh no, don't fence me in, I really mean it, just don't fence me in. Good luck, good luck, and may the Lord take a liking to you.